Introducing The Phil Silvers Show, a TV series from 1955 that's full of laughs, surprises, and touching moments. As you watch this classic, look out for the funny, surprising, and even sad parts. Maybe you'll think about a scene or moment that really stuck with you or which character you liked the most. Share your favorite memories or personal stories about the show in the comment entrance below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching, there's a lot more to discover. The Phil Silver Show, which premiered in 1955, is a classic TV series filled with humor, heart, and memorable characters. Set in a U.S. Army post during World War II, the show revolves around the antics of Master Sergeant Ernest G. Bilko, played by Phil Silvers, a scheming but lovable character always looking for ways to make a quick buck or avoid work. Bilko's schemes often involve his fellow soldiers, including Corporal Henshaw, Sergeant Ritzick, and Private Doberman, each with their own quirks and personalities. The show's plot mainly follows Bilko as he navigates through various get-rich-quick schemes and dodges the watchful eye of his commandering officer, Colonel Hall. Despite his constant scheming, Bilko's heartwarming moments and genuine care for his comrades shine through, endearing him to both his fellow soldiers and viewers alike. The Phil Silvers show quickly became a beloved classic, winning several awards and leaving a lasting legacy in the world of television comedy. Phil Silvers, the lead actor in the series, had a rocky relationship with Morris Gosfield, who played Doberman. Gosfield's method acting, embodying the slobbish character of Doberman, frustrated Silvers and the crew, particularly due to his struggle with remembering lines. Despite this, Gosfield garnered more fan mail than Silvers, leading to resentment from the latter. Silvers recounted in his autobiography that Gosfield's popularity inflated his ego, causing tension on set. Tracy Silvers, Phil Silvers' daughter, pursued a career in film production and writing. Silvers himself expressed disappointment over CBS's abrupt cancellation of the show. These behind-the-scenes dynamics offer insight into the interpersonal challenges faced by the cast, contributing to the show's legacy. The Phil Silvers Show started in 1955 and became a popular comedy on TV. It was first filmed in New York City by Nat Hyken. Later, it moved to Los Angeles after Hyken left. David White also appeared on many MTM shows, showing his different acting skills. He was known for playing a bully who learned lessons on The Andy Griffith Show. The mix of talent and humor made the show very popular. It had a big influence on TV comedy for a long time. Terry Carter remains the sole surviving member of the cast from The Phil Silvers Show. Originally titled You'll Never Get Rich, the show earned its moniker from a lyric in the 1917 World War I marching song You're in the Army Now. Despite strong ratings in its final season, CBS canceled the show to sell reruns in syndication, a move that disappointed Phil Silvers, the lead actor. The abrupt cancellation left Silvers feeling upset as he had not been consulted beforehand. The reruns found a new home on NBC and aired continuously for 40 years. Such behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the challenges faced by the cast and add depth to the show's legacy. George Kennedy, who served in the U.S. Army, provided technical advice for the show and made his acting debut with a minor role as MP, Sergeant Kennedy. He later gained recognition for his recurring roles in various TV series, including as CPL, Henshaw in The Phil Silvers Show. He showcased his acting skills in other shows like Gomer Pyle as MC, The Brady Bunch, and All in the Family. In 2003, the Radio Times ranked the Phil Silvers show as the top television sitcom, surpassing other classics such as Faulty Towers and Seinfeld. This recognition highlights the show's timeless humor and engaging characters. Terry Carter stands as the last surviving member of the cast. Originally titled You'll Never Get Rich, the series derived its name from a line in the 1917 World War I marching song You're in the Army Now. Despite strong viewership in its final season, the show faced an unexpected cancellation by CBS, a decision that disappointed lead actor Phil Silvers. The abrupt end marked a poignant moment in television history, yet its reruns found a new home on NBC, where they continued to entertain audiences for four decades. The behind-the-scenes dynamics, including George Kennedy's dual role as an advisor and actor, add depth to the show's legacy. Despite its challenges and eventual cancellation, the series remains a beloved classic loved by fans for its humor, heart, and timeless appeal. In a biography in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, we learn about the start of the famous TV series. It began in 1955 and became popular for its humor and memorable characters. 
One important part is how Phil Silvers played Master Sergeant Ernest G. Bilko. He caused a lot of trouble with his plans, often involving other soldiers. Sometimes, when Paul Ford forgot his lines, Silvers would make up new ones, creating funny scenes with Colonel Hall. Even though everyone had fun on set, they still stayed true to their characters, which made the show feel real. Another big moment for the show was in 2009 when they made a stamp with Sergeant Bilko on it. This stamp was part of a series honoring early TV memories. It showed with how much people still liked the Phil Silvers show even though it stopped airing on CBS. It kept going and reruns on NBC for 40 years. George Kennedy, who was in the U.S. Army before, gave advice and acted in a small role on the show. Kennedy and the rest of the cast helped make the show really important for TV comedy. To sum up, the Phil Silver Show is still loved by many for its funny moments and characters. It was even named the best TV sitcom by the Radio Times in 2003. Its humor and characters still make people laugh today. Phil Silvers, famous for playing Master Sergeant Ernest G. Bilko, faced difficulties both on and off the set of the famous TV series. Silvers had poor eyesight and feared falling into the orchestra pit, showing how comalanterated he was to his acting. Even though he said no to other roles like Pseudolus and a funny thing happened on the way to the forum, Silvers still made a big impression in the entertainment world. He talked openly about how he felt when the show ended, showing how being famous and wealthy can be complicated. The U.S. Postal Service honored the show with special stamps, showing how much it still matters in American TV history. Silver's acting as Bilko was memorable, and his interactions with co-stars like Morris Gosfield show how the people behind the scenes helped make the show a success. From its small beginnings to being recognized as one of the top TV sitcoms, The Phil Silver's Show still connects with audiences worldwide, leaving a lasting impact on TV comedy. The Phil Silver's Show, a famous TV series from the 1950s, was known for its funny cast, led by Phil Silver's as Master Sergeant Ernest G. Bilko. One interesting thing about the show is that Mickey Freeman, who died in 2010, was the last surviving star. In the show's intro, they gave Bilko a made up as Army serial number RA15042699, which fit with the real numbering system at the time, hinting at his made up military background. There was a pilot episode called You'll Never Get Rich, not aired originally, but available on DVD now. It had Jack Warden playing Corporal Steve Henshaw, but when the show aired, Alan Melvin took over and played Henshaw for the whole series. Melvin did a great job and kept the character consistent, which helped make the show successful. Despite some tension among the cast, like between Phil Silvers and Morris Gosfield who played Doberman, the show kept going and became a big deal in TV comedy. George Kennedy, who was in the U.S. Army before, helped with military advice for the show and even had a small acting part. His input, along with everyone else's, made the show a big deal in TV comedy history. Even though CBS canceled it, NBC reran it for 40 years, keeping it popular. People still love the humor and characters today, and in 2003, the Radio Times named it one of the best TV sitcoms ever. The Phil Silver Show is still loved by fans for being funny and smart. 